do try a lot of sports. And more on today's news. Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Izzy isn't here because he's getting his wisdom teeth taken out. And I'm technically the sportscaster, but I gotta help out the homie. Congratulations to Caitlin Douglas and Madeline McBee on earning gold ratings and advancing to the state solo and ensemble contest. For lunch today on lines one and two, hot dogs. Three, soup and salad bar, potato soup. Line four, barbecue chicken or fiesta pizza. And line five's closed. A happy birthday goes out to Alexander Castillo and Salima Manuhano. And a very happy birthday goes out to Mrs. Hutton. Now we're doing sports of the desk today, so let's get started. Congratulations to Elijah Anthony on an outstanding season. Elijah was defeated Friday by the state runner-up from Avon in the first round of the state tournament. He finishes his sophomore year with a record of 38-4. and four. A reminder to all girls planning to play softball this spring, off-season conditioning is Monday and Wednesday from 7 to 8 p.m., and indoor practices and ox are Tuesday and Thursday from 7 to 8.30. Uniforms and helmets need to be ordered before the season starts and the official start date is March 9th, which means physicals need to be turned in and final forms information is completed. To get items ordered, you need to make an appearance in the next few days. The boys basketball team won its second game in a row against conference opponent Southmont on Friday. The team got off to a great start leading 20-8 at the end of the first quarter. Trey Frazier led the team with 22, Braden Compton and Cameron Williams both put in 14. Jade Ayers had six, Landon Mejia five, Arod Valdez Sandoval two, and Deacon Spencer two. Frankfurt played a great game Saturday against Tipton, but fell short 52 to 47. It was the best overall performance the team has played thus far, and the seniors Braden Compton, Trey Frazier, and Cameron Williams finished their careers at Case Arena with a tremendous all-around effort. Cam led the team with 16 points, Trey followed with 13, and Compton had seven. The JV team got another big win against Tipton. The dogs head into the final week of regular season play at Westfield on Tuesday and Delphi next Friday night. Congrats to the swimmers on a great sectional. Top finishes were Tyler Harness, 7th in the 500, 9th in the 200 IM, Ethan Cook, 11th in diving, 200 medley relay, Terry Fry, Matthew Haynes, Tyler Harness, and Ramsey Mitchell placed 9th, 200 freestyle relay, Ethan Cook, Matthew Haynes, and Ramsey Mitchell, and Tyler Harness placed 9th. 400 freestyle relay of Ethan Cook, Jacob Craig, Daniel Pritchett, and Terry Fry placed eighth. Congrats on a great season. Today it is supposed to be a high of 44 with a low of 39. Heat weight much. Today it is a 90% chance of rainfall. Here is the quote of the day. This power is mine. This is my light. Be it in bright of day or black of night. Congratulations to FHS vocal students for an amazing outing at State ISMA contest this weekend at Perry Meriden High School. Logan Tillman and Morgan Adamson both earned a perfect score and received gold ratings. Bailey Wessel and Kayla Tillman also earned gold ratings. Caitlin Douglas, Logan Tillman, Bailey Wessel, and Morgan Adamson earned a silver rating as an ensemble. Great job to all. Now to the big wheel of fun you should have seen Friday. Good morning, hot dogs. We're here for Friday's Big Wheel of Fun Spin. Here we go. Number 50. Justin Seymour, you're our first winner. And our last spin. Number 65, Aaron Willoughby. So Aaron Willoughby and Justin Seymour, you are our two winners for this week. Congrats, hot dogs. Make sure you like and subscribe and try to have a good first day of the new trimester. On this day in history, Izzy Gretchen Medina missed school because he got his teeth removed. Peace.